three people trapped by lava airlifted to safety near Hawaii's Kailaia volcano as earthquake strikes Big Island and new resorts are threatened. A private helicopter has swooped in to pluck three people to safety after they became surrounded by fast-flowing lava. The two men and a woman were airlifted to safety on Sunday morning as lava from Hawaii's Kailaia volcano threatened an isolated area where they had become trapped, the National Guard said. Hawaii County Civil Defense Administrator Talmaj Magno said that a private helicopter contracted by the United States Geological Survey, USGS, a scientific agency of the U.S. government, rescued them from Kapoa, as fast-flowing lava cut off roads. The trio became the latest in a series of evacuations on Hawaii's Big Island, forced out by the volcano, which has been erupting since May 3. Nearly 400 evacuees stayed at shelters on Saturday night, including people from Kapo'o Beach lots and vacation land, with cell service not working in the area. On Saturday, National Guard troops, police and firefighters ushered evacuees from homes on the eastern tip of the island, hours before a lava cut-off road access to the area, officials said. A stream of lava as wide as three football fields flowed over a highway near a junction at Kapo'o a seaside community rebuilt after a destructive eruption of Kailaia in 1960. The lava flow left Kapo'o and the adjacent development of vacation land cut off from the rest of the island by road, according to the Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Lava also destroyed a freshwater lake, boiling away all of the water in it, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported. Aerial footage shows the lava blazing a path towards the Kapo'o tide pools in Big Island. These are interconnecting tide pools, some of which are large and deep enough for swimmers and snorkelers. Jessica Ball, USGS volcanologist said on Sunday that lava was continuing to fountain from Fisher 8, and is feeding a lava flow that has wrapped around the Kapo'o crater to the north and has entered the vacation land neighborhood. Lava entered Green Lake at about 10 a.m. June 2nd, forming a large steam plume, and by 1.30 p.m. lava had filled the lake and boiled off all the water. At 7 a.m. on June 3rd, the flow front had entered Kapo'o Beach lots and was about 50 yards from the ocean. We estimate that the flow front is moving roughly 250 feet per hour, but be advised that this could become faster or slower at any time. There is now no access to vacation land, Kapo'o or highways 132 and 137. There was a weak flow from Fisher 16, but it has not advanced far beyond the vent. At the summit, earthquake activity was low and ash emissions from the Halamemau crater were weak. However, gas emissions remain high and we expect small explosive events to continue. Authorities since Wednesday had been urging residents of the area to leave before a lava spewing from a volcanic fissure at the eastern foot of Kailaia reached the area. The final phase of the evacuation was carried out late on Friday and early on Saturday by fire and police department personnel, with help from the Hawaii National Guard and public works teams, County Civil Defense spokeswoman Janet Snyder said. An estimated 500 people live in the Kapo'o area. But Snyder said it was not immediately clear how many residents, if any, had chosen to stay behind. Another 2,000 people have already been evacuated from Lalani Estates, an area further west where dozens of homes have been devoured or cut off by rivers of lava streaming over the landscape since May 3. For those whose homes have been unscathed, the prolonged strain of uncertainty has grown increasingly difficult. In its most recent update, the USGS reported that the situation was dynamic with vent locations changing, fissures starting and stopping. It said that volcanic gas emissions remain very high from the fissure eruptions. Additional ground cracking and outbreaks of lava in the area of the active fissures are possible. Residents downslope of the region of fissures should heed all Hawaii County civil defense messages and warnings. Also, Earthquake activity at Kailaia Volcano Summit has been high, with a moderate earthquake of magnitude 5.5 occurred over the weekend, as a result of a volcanic explosion. An ash column was thrown 8,000 feet into the sky as a result, USGS added. Big Island's mayor, Harry Kim, 
warned people to stay away from any ocean plume to prevent harmful health effects after the lava inundation. Volcanic gas emissions, including sulfur dioxide are high in the fissure system and lower east rift zone. Residents in the area and downwind should take precaution to limit exposure. Stay alert and be prepared to evacuate with little notice.